hello hello happy halloween 2020 i guess i don't know today i am super super excited to finally present to you my thoughts on the ColourPop and Hocus Pocus collab and also to share with you five inspirational looks for how you can use this gorgeous palette in your everyday life. This is one of the five looks and let me tell you it was a freaking train wreck <laughs> from beginning to end. Like I don't know it's probably looking okay because I'm in a distance. Um, it's a lot of eye makeup. I wear a lot of eye makeup but this, this is even a little bit more than I typically do and then combined with this red lip is not my typical go-to look but I will tell you I was on the struggle bus hardcore with this eye look it's a little bit beyond my comfort zone but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop talking I'm gonna let you watch me create the five different looks I used every single color in the palette at least once in these five looks not each time but combined with all five looks uh some of the things i did consistently all of my eyelids were uh, had foundation on them and setting powder but no primers no primers and maybe a little bit of concealer got on there i think for this look it did but i like to keep it really consistent not everyone likes to use an eyeshadow primer so i try to do these inspirational looks slash reviews with um out using eyeshadow primer because I want to see how the makeup truly performs and then once we get through all of that I want to come back around and share with you my thoughts on the collection show you the pieces that I bought and talk to them in depth so hold on tight this is all gonna be sped up and to music there will be no talking all the shades that are you that I'm using at any given moment will be on the screen so you'll be able to see like what shade I'm dipping into and then whenever that is done I will come back on here and I will show show you the collection and the pieces that I did purchase. All right, so I hope you enjoy.
when your makeup look is not going the way you want it to. You get your concealer and you stay the course. We'll see what happens. You can totally tell that I am not a professional makeup artist. Did you see all the crazy flaws in this eye makeup look? All the technical flaws, all the issues? I'm sure you did. So let's go ahead and talk about the collection as a whole. I did not get my hands on the entire collection. I believe the entire collection was on sale for $140. I tried to order it, it fell out of my cart. Now, I know that some of you did not get your hands on this palette, but for those lucky few that did, uh, I wanted to make this video because now that you've got it it's like nice to kind of know what to do with it this is not this is the gather round sisters eyeshadow palette it comes in a unicarton like this and it has 15 shades um in the palette and when you open the unicarton it looks like this it has the cute little cauldron and all the graphics and then all of your names are on the back but your names are also on the front and i really love this um the color scheme really spoke to me. I don't typically order a lot of makeup. You guys haven't seen me haul anything that hasn't come in a boxy charm or a ipsy bag for a long time. And that's because I just, I've got so much, like I feel bad buying it, but this, I had to have her. I had to have her. So it starts, it's got the Sanderson sisters at the top, which I'm sure you've seen. And to be honest with you, I'm not overly thrilled with this graphic not gonna lie i think winnie looks pretty cute but i think mary and sarah just look like they're on a trip or something i don't know like sarah is supposed to be the beautiful one and she is the ugliest of the three in this i don't know i just wasn't overly thrilled with this graphic choice i feel like it just could have been done better but that's okay so then you have your 15 shades um on here and there are let me see I never counted one two three four five matte shades there are one two three four shades that are like a matte with a silver glitter like this and this and then for metallic shades there are one two three four five and then there is one like glittery shade like that's an actual like glitter so that is called Brew Potion. I'm going to go ahead and do like a little swatchy swatchy for you. Really, really good. Um, really, really nice. Now, 
few things to know about this palette. This is notated as a pressed powder palette, which means that there are shades, probably these here, which are going to be considered unsafe for eyes because they are, um, oh, the thoughts are going right out of my head. Did you know it's midnight? I didn't tell you guys that it's midnight when I'm filming this. Okay. So, um, it's because they use an ingredient called bismuth oxy chloride and that's what helps get the color payoff All right and it does say on the back it is not to use in the immediate eye area it's cruelty free it's made in the usa okay so let me bring it back the reason why they say these shades are not safe to use in the eye area is because of the pigments that they use the pigments that they use are not made with animal products which when you use a brand that is not cruelty safe to get their reds and their purples they will use an ingredient an ingredient an ingredient called carmine and carmine is actually derived from beetles so that it's not considered to be cruelty free when you are getting the same like strong color payoff that you're going to get with these shades you have to use a different ingredient called bismuth oxychloride which is scratchy it could also lead to staining and it can be um, irritating to people with sensitive eyes. Now, that is a very minute part of the population. If you have used other palettes in the past where they have these like really bright fluorescents or um, hot pinks, bright purples, any of those that are cruelty free, you, you, you're fine. Like you can see, I've used this all over my eye area. I've never had an issue. Um, my eyes are pretty sensitive. I'm not going to lie. So, um, you should be okay, but test it. Just test it if you're not sure. So that is one thing I wanted to put at, point out to you. I think that they did a really good job with the color scheme. I really do see the Sanderson sisters when I look at this color scheme, which is amazing. I, I just think they did a really good job and I really love the palette and I hope you liked the looks that I created using the palette. And I hope that it inspired you to reach outside your comfort zone and try some new things and also i hope that it gave you some great ideas as far as like how to use some of these colors because some people get thrown by green some people get thrown by purples some people get thrown by reds so you know it just pushes you a little bit more to like reach outside the box so to speak other things i got when i ordered were the lashes that i have on today and these are the um, Boss Witch faux lashes, which were Winifred's lashes, and they came in this cute little box. And how I ended up getting them is I ordered the palette, the lashes, a lip kit, and a liner in a kit because they released three gel liners and the green sold out and it was the only way I could get my hands on the green. So let's talk about the lip kit that I got with this purchase. There were three lip kits that were released the lip kit has a lipstick and a lip liner in it. I am currently wearing um, Mary's I Smell Children. That's what I'm wearing on my lips. It is a true blue, blue undertone red. It's a matte red. It's beautiful. The packaging, again, stinking cute. Like so cute. I can't even. Um, and the lipstick is just called Mary. And the lip liner is spinster ladies which is i just think it's so funny so here it is um just really nice these are very emollient so if that's not your jam you may not like that and um but they're nice and like moisturizing they feel good and there's even like little spiders embossed on the lip color so really really cute that's the mary one i got the winnie we can fly or the Winnie I Put a Spell on You kit, and it has the Winnie Luxe lipstick and the Come We Fly lippy pencil with it. This one has a little bit more of a red undertone to, or yeah, a little bit more of an orange undertone to it. Let me see, swatch these for you. And this is what they look like. They are very close. Now, like you can see, there's it's just a slight orange undertone and then I did not order the Sarah lip kit because it was much more orange in the undertone and that's not the type of red that I gravitate towards for my skin tone I like the blue undertone red like the Mary um so I kind of ended up with the Winifred one by default technically so and like I said I ordered all three of the cream gel liners were three shades there was this red sh reddish shade called Sista's there was this purple shade called Trick or Treat, 
And then the green shade is called Black Flame Candle. And they all have the all-seeing eye on them. We did, I did have an issue with one of my liners and you actually got to see that in the video. The purple shade is literally crumbling, like crumbling to pieces. It can't even, it cannot even be used. Uh, I'm, like, I'm literally scraping like what's kind of on the side. It's a beautiful shade. So I'm, I wrote into ColourPop, so I'm hoping they can eat, refund me, send me a similar shade. I'm not really sure. That one's trick or treat. I used Sista, or not the Sista's, the Black Flame Candle on my eye look today, which I ended up covering up with lashes. Go figure, right? But there's that. Really, really pretty. And then the shade I was most excited about was Sista's. Sisters, but Sista's, you know that? Like, I just find this shade to be so unique. Like, it's like a... Oh, what would I call that? That's like a coppery rose colored mm, goodness is what it is. It makes me want to eat it and just eat it. But that's what I ended up getting from the collection. Now, the liners, if the purple one weren't crumbling to pieces, it would be amazing. Like they all three were really good. The eyeshadows, the lip kit's really good. Like I said, they're very emollient. The color between Mary and... Winnie are so super close. Like I should just swatch these two so you can see them. This is the first two right here are um, Winnie's lip kit and these two are Mary. And you can see without like blurring it out how incredibly close they are. Like they're so super close, which to me is a little bit disappointing. Um, like I'm never gonna go through that much red lipstick probably. I don't wear reds a lot. It's not my, it's just, not that I don't like them, it's just not my thing. So it's a really kind of disappointing that, you know, they're so similar and I'm kind of glad I didn't get the Sarah to like check it out. Um, but you know, and then these were the Winnie lashes. Sarah had a set of lashes and Mary had a set of lashes, but I did not order them because again, I don't wear a ton of false lashes. So there's no sense in having it all here. They also had like glitter that you could wear, like chunkier glitter and the clear that you could put like on your face and in your hair, that kind of a thing. Um, I didn't order any of that because I just have no use for it. I really did just order what I knew I would use. And I think the collection was really, really nice. I want to talk a little bit about the palette and my thoughts on some of these shades. Now, do they all perform? Yes. Are they all pigmented? Yes. Some of them are a little trickier than others. And you saw that, especially with tonight's look. I feel like Night of Frolic and Come Little Children were really hard to work with. I used Come Little Children in my crease to start this look off and I kind of took it up pretty high, uh, which kind of got overshadowed by all the purple of the um, of the Night of Frolic. <laughs> just this whole look went to hell in a handbasket. I don't know what happened. Like it just got, it got messed up real quick. Um, I'm just, I don't know. I'm, ro I'm rolling with it at this point because I need to get this video up. So take it for take it for what it is I am not a professional I found that these shades this one was really hard to work with I felt like it got patchy in certain places on my eyes and then I feel like this night of frolic shade like disappeared like I put a whole ton of it on my lid I really packed it on like had it falling on my cheeks created all sorts of problems for me and then I went in to fix it and like it was gone like where did it go so that was a little, I mean, it's there now. That's several layers though. I don't know because it's so, I mean, it's so freaking pigmented. That's pretty, that's a pretty crappy swatch. Let's try it again. Maybe it's not as pigmented as I feel like it is. I mean, I don't know. Like, it's not bad. I've definitely played with worse, so I don't know. I feel like the glitter is amazing. It's called Brew Potion and that stuff is on like once you get it on your once it's on it's on and you have to work kind of quick with it because once it starts to set like you're out of time <laughs> you're completely out of time i i will use the crap out of this palette i just think it is perfect it's a great size it's a cute collection it has great shades for fall into winter um i mean i really loved it i was really really excited to have it and i'm glad i got my hands on it what do you guys think for starters. Okay, so what was your favorite look? 
which one did you like the most what colors do you find the most intimidating did this video help you in any way i hope so because i feel like i just really oh i went I went on the struggle bus night <laughs> i don't even know um anyways i hope you all have an amazing day have a happy and safe halloween and a great rest of your fall season we still have a little bit of fall left before we dip into christmas and um if you like this video please hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up button and share it and do all the things share it with the people who managed to get their hands on the palette maybe they could use some inspiration and i hope to see you all in my next video i will talk to you later bye